Welcome to more Anki 101 with the King. Today's topic is so important. We are going to be discussing all of the settings. So many settings. So many settings. Okay, this video is going to be discussing the settings. And as we go through it, I will tell you my recommended settings. But you kind of have to tweak this for whatever you're trying to do with your studies. So he, these option things here, <clears throat> we're going to click on that and click option. And you can see there's new cards, reviews, lapses, general description. They're all important. Up here at the top is options group. So you can see I have quite a few. And if you look at these, if I click through them, you can tell they're all different. And that's because depending on what I'm studying, I use different settings. That's why this is really important that you understand. So the steps here on the new cards are the steps the card must take in order to get to the graduating interval. So if you want to see your card twice in the first day, you would click something like 10 minutes. That way you will see it in 10 minutes, and then you'll see it again tomorrow, and at that point it will be considered graduated. Now you can see on my settings, I like to see them only once. I don't like to see the new cards twice. So my first interval is 1440 minutes or a day and I like to keep my again button about 25 minutes I don't like it coming back right away but this means I set my graduating interval to three days and so once I have seen it tomorrow and gotten it correct it will then go three days into the future as for the starting ease and the easy interval the easy interval the default of four or five days is probably about good, but it kind of depends on what you're doing with the graduating interval, and you may have to tweak that. That is essentially what happens when you hit the easy button on a new card. The starting ease, I would highly recommend you don't touch that. It is based off of an algorithm that has been tried and tested, uh, and unless you're studying something and things are really too easy for you, I would leave the ease at 250%. This very related new cards until the next day is really useful. If you have a close card that has multiple close deletions, if you bury the related cards, you will only see one of those cards that day, and the other one you, may, you will see tomorrow or the next day. So I really like that because it spreads ideas out over the course of multiple days. Some people don't like that. That's kind of up to you. As for reviews, you definitely want to hit maximum reviews 9,999 because if you're not doing that you're ruining the algorithm you need to do as many reviews a day as Anki says you need to do the easy bonus I think the default is 130 percent I changed it to 150 because I like to kick them a little more in the future we talked about that in a past video this when you hit the easy button you times by the ease as well as the easy bonus so that's what that is the interval modifier, every single button is timesed by this. It's default at 100%, so it doesn't do anything. But if you're seeing cards too much, too often, or you're not seeing them often enough, you may want to tweak this a little bit to your liking. The maximum interval is the maximum interval that any card will ever get to. So I will never have a card that goes away for longer than six months. This last thing here, Barry related reviews until the next day. It's the same thing as the new cards, but now it's doing it for reviews. So you won't have two cards that are related come up in the same review session. It will Anki will automatically tweak things by one or two days so that you don't see them together. And I, again, feel like that's helpful. The lapses settings are really important. This is what happens when you've been reviewing a card for a while and you get it wrong. You hit the again button. This is the settings that the card will go under. So it is now going to follow these steps as it is in the relearning phase. So similar to how the new cards go into the relearning phase, the, the learning phase until they graduate, these cards are going to the relearning phase. And then their new interval will be the previous interval times this new interval phase once it has passed through the steps. So I think the default on new interval is 0%, which basically means the card starts over as brand new. I've turned it to about 20. Again, you kind of have to tweak that as you like. Uh, the minimum interval is the minimum interval that can, can shoot a card into the lapses setting. So if you have it set to 10 days it, and you get a card wrong that has an interval of 5 days, it won't send it to the lapses settings quite yet. So 
leaving that at one day is good. The leech threshold means if you get the card wrong, in this instance, four times, it's going to tag that card as a leech card so that you know something's up with the card, you're getting it wrong quite often. I think the default is set to suspend it. I don't like that idea because if, you don't, if you're not learning the card, it's, to, it's, it's gonna suspend it and you'll never see it again. Well, you wanna keep seeing it, you wanna learn it. So I like to tag it and that way it tells me I need to look at this card and perhaps review that principle again. Under general here, the ignore answer times longer than. This means if I walk away from my computer as I'm doing cards, and say I walk away for an hour and then I come back, if this was not set to a certain lower time period, it would show that I had been doing reviews for an hour that day. So this is showing that after 180 seconds of not answering the card, it means I've walked away. So it's no longer going to count that into my review time. And that is really all you need for these settings here. Now we're also going to talk about up here at the top, Anki preferences. These are also important. The important ones here are next day, or let's start with this one, what show new cards after reviews. You can mix the new cards in reviews. You can show the new cards after the reviews or before, whatever you choose. And I typically will change that depending on how I'm studying and what I want to happen. The next day starts at 5 a.m. I think the default on this is noon, so you definitely want to change this so that you get all your new reviews in the morning, especially if you're like me and study better in the morning. The learn ahead limit is telling you that you can learn cards that are due within that time period. So if I, for example, change this to 20 minutes and I have a card that's due in 10 minutes, it will let me see it. It will bring it up. But if I have a card that's due in 25 minutes, it won't let me see it quite yet. So I like to keep that at zero, but sometimes if it's 10 p.m. at night and I just want to go to bed, I'll increase that so I can just get my cards done for the day. The time box time limit, I wouldn't touch. And that's really all you need to know for the settings. Thanks for learning with The On King. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.